Hey, I'm Morgan. And I have a question. Do you like to be a helper? Me too. There's just something about helping that makes me feel like I'm coming to the rescue. Even when I was your age, I used to help. And guess what? God made us to help others. Helping others is just one of the many ways we can show the love of God. Our main memory verse is 2 Chronicles 32, 8. We have the Lord, our God, to help us. Yep, you heard that right. God is always there to help us. Now, I need your help with the main memory verse motions. First, I'll show you how to do them, and then we can do them together. You ready? We have our Lord God to help us help others. You ready again? We have our Lord God to help us help others. Wow, thank you. Now let's see what my friend has to say, and I'll see you after today's Bible story. Bye. Hey everyone, let's praise and worship God together. Then hear a true story from the Bible that shows us that God made us to help others. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! I was made to help my brother. an awesome helper. Oh, hey friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. She was just helping me clean out her dog house. 
Look at how many toys were in there. <laughs> yes, it was a lot of toys. I definitely needed help getting them all out. And we all need help sometimes. And the best thing is that God made us to help. That's the sign for help. Can you do it with me? That's right. God made me and you to help. And in the Bible, there is a story Jesus told about helping others. Do you want to hear it? Great! The story Jesus told began with a man walking along a road. All of a sudden, some people came and hurt the man. Oh no! The hurt man had so many boo-boos. He needed help. Oh look! Here comes someone! Maybe he will help the hurt man. Do you think he will stop and help? Hmm, let's see if he stops. Oh no! He didn't stop to help the hurt man. He just walked on by. Oh yay, here comes someone else. Maybe he will stop and help. Do you think he will stop and help? Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, he didn't stop either. He just walked on by. Now what is the hurt man going to do? Oh wait, oh, there's another person coming. Uh-oh, he is a Samaritan. The Samaritan's family and the hurt man's family were not friends. Do you think the Samaritan will stop even though he wasn't friends with the hurt man? Oh, I can't wait for you to see what happens. Look, the Samaritan is stopping. He's helping. He's giving the hurt man bandages for his boo-boos. He's putting the hurt man on his donkey and he's taking him to a place to stay to get better. Hooray for helping. Everyone cheer with me. Hooray for helping. The Samaritan in the story did what God made us to do. He helped. And we can help people too, because God made you and me to help others. Hooray for helping. Oh, hey, Ollie, tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. Who made us to help others? God made us to help others. Now, before we go, let's pray. Or simply put, let's talk to God. And God is always listening. When we pray, I want you to remember that. To keep it simple, keep it real, and keep it up. Now, let's pray. Let's all bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for always helping us and making us to be helpers too. Help us show love to others by helping them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next week. Bye. Happy May. We are spending this month answering the question, who made you to help? God made you to help. We are sharing with our preschoolers that God is the ultimate helper and we are all made in God's image. We invite you to check out this week's family activity guide. You can download it from your Facebook parent group, our website, or follow it from your phone. Inside the guide, you will find amazing activities that make it easy to keep growing in God's word with your preschooler. It tells you what to say, it guides you through a simple and fun activity. It guides you through prayer and so much more. Decide when and how you want to use these great tools at your fingertip, and you will be amazed at how much your preschooler is learning right at home with you. We have one amazing in-person Sunday service for kids. If your family is interested in attending in-person service, please join us on either our Birmingham, Alabama, or Columbus, Georgia campus. For more details about the in-person service on the campus you attend, special days when we worship together in the main sanctuary as a family, and much more, please visit faithchapel.net forward slash family for more details on what's going on at our church. Enjoy your day.